So I'm going to print out some dice here so you can see everything I do step by step. Um, and what I'm going to do is I've turned my printer on. And this is the CME CNC Orion Delta Style 3D printer. And I'll just go to adjust temps. And I'm going to adjust my bed to uh, about 70C. Um, I usually do it at 60 to 70. And I'm going to set my hot end to 192. Okay, and I'm going to let that warm up, um, and that'll take a few minutes here. Okay, so first I'm going to download my file from Thingiverse. Um, this is the normal size six-sided die or dice file by Dennis Baldwin. Um, it was uploaded in 2013. And um, first I look at the makes. When I go to Thingiverse and I want to print out dice or anything, um, I'm going to see if people made it to make sure it's a good file. So if you look at made here, and there's a couple of makes. All right, so it looks like it came out all right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and download it, and I actually have it right here already, and then I'll just pop that on my desktop. Okay, and then I'm using Matter Control 1.1 um, program for my 3D printer. So um, to add my um, STL file to Matter Control, I just click Add, and then I select it. Um, and I already have it here. Okay, and it's ready to print. So I'm going to go to Advanced Controls, set my settings. Um, in my, um, uh, my printer is not connected yet, so I'm going to go ahead and, and click the Connect button up in the top left. All right, and we see that's connected now. So here's my temperature control options. Um, usually for my PLA, I like to print between the uh, default, which is 188, um, to about um, 205 or 210 Celsius. Um, when I print higher, usually I'll do the higher settings because I want it to be more durable. I found that when I print something at the higher temp, it doesn't break, it e break as easily. Um, and you know it'll look a little bit different depending on whether you do a lower or higher temperature. Um, for my dice, I'm just going to go ahead and do 192, uh, and I've already set that on my printer, um, so I actually don't need to duplicate it here. And my print, um, my print bed is at 70, so I'm going to put that at 70 here, anyways. Okay. Then I click on slice settings. And I'm going to set the settings that I want for my dice. And if I go to layer height, I want to print these out fairly quick. Um, the detail, um, the details look fine even at the um, the higher layer height. I actually like it when you print it out the higher layer height. The PLA has kind of like a gloss to it that looks cool. Um, and when you print it really thin, it, it loses the gloss and it's kind of more of a uh, generic feeling. So if you wanted to like paint it and you didn't want any of the lines, you could try it doing a really low millimeter height. Um, this one, my CME CNC Orion can do down to, um, down to um, 0.5 millimeter, uh, but I'm actually gonna do um, 0.5 for the sake of this video. And for my infill, I'm just gonna leave that at default. Um, skirt and brim I have set to 12 millimeters. And this is a dice, so there's no reason for a support material and it's pretty small so I don't need a raft. Um, what a raft is, is if you're printing a really big print, um, the bottom of the print will start warping as it cools down. So if you do a raft, um, what it does is it helps um, print a non-flat surface that'll do, um, you know, like a raft, um, imagine a raft in your mind, um, where it's got like logs that it's building up. It'll do something like that underneath your object so that your object doesn't warp itself. Okay, so I have my settings here done, and I'm going to go ahead and my everything's pretty much up to temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and click start. Okay, and if we move here over to my printer. Okay. And it should begin printing any time.
Okay, so you can see the skirt um, has already been printed and it's going ahead and printing on my dice. So that's going to take, um, according to the matter control, it's going to take about 10 minutes. I've actually found that on the matter control program, it thinks that my printer is a little bit faster than it is. So I'd probably expect this to take around um, 15 minutes to complete. So here's the die I just printed and you can see the numbers came out um, pretty well. You can see it fairly clearly and not bad for only um, um, for only a 15 minute print here. And you could print five or six of these at the same time. So and you can see it roll here. Oops. So, so it rolls pretty good. So I'm actually pretty curious about how small I can print um, my dice um, and in the numbers still being uh, legible, the dot holes. So uh, I'm going to clean off my build plate and I'm going to try printing this dice um, at half the size. So I'm just going to clean my build plate like so. Okay, so here's my matter control 1.1 again. And I'm going to add my dice. Um, file back up and here it is okay so it's die 2 and what you want to do to change the size and matter control is you'll click on the view option and it'll load that object for you so here it is uh, there's my little die and I will click on scale um, it's right under rotate and then I'm going to change my ratio here so I'm going to do 0.5 and then click apply scale so there it is everything is halved on the x y and z axis and so that I um, uh, if I click save it's actually going to override the file so that the file defaults to being this tiny size so if I save as I can um, I'll call it die um, halves and now it's saving as a new file okay so I'm going to click close and go to my advanced controls here and um, my layer height on that previous die was um, 0.5 millimeters and I changed this to 0.2 millimeters um, just to try and get some more detail since everything is smaller um, I want to um, reduce my layer height so that I still retain some of that detail um, on my die and then I've kept the temperatures the same so I'm going to head and click start Okay, and let's see how this die uh, prints out. Okay, so I'm printing my um, half size die right now. And the print time on this is um, only about five and a half minutes. So. Um, again, matter control, it, it seems to think my printer is faster than it is, so I expect this to be done maybe in uh, seven or eight minutes. But um, I'm actually surprised. That's really, really quick. Um, six or seven minutes for a die. I imagine I could do about um, ten of these or so and get that done um, in less than an hour easily. So um, this is something good that you could do. If this comes out well, um, I could print this out for all my board games and other card games that I play at home.
Okay, so my dye is completed, and that took exactly um, 6 minutes and 31 seconds. So let's pop that off here. Alright, and that comes off pretty easy. Okay, and there's my die. So there's the die, and you can see it came out in pretty good detail. You can read everything here. There's the three end, the two end, and the six is a little bit tougher. That was actually the bottom, uh, the layer that printed at the bottom. I think um, because this is small, and I have the hairspray on it, I can probably reduce my temperature and that will help it from getting, um, it looks a little smudged so the heat kind of um, kept it from getting details very well. But you can still tell it's a 6. And there's the 5. So overall I'm pretty impressed, it came out pretty good. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try printing out um, about um, 10 of these or so at once and make a good little um, dice cube that I can use for games. Okay, so here's the dice that I've printed and um, the one that came out of the printer that I just showed you um, is um, this dice and I printed a few copies of it. Okay so I printed three dice um, in that style. This is my favorite. It looks really clean. It came out well and um, I like about um, um, 0.2 millimeters looks good, but the 0.5 actually came out pretty good. Um, it's a little bit more sheen than the others. Okay, and um, the other die that I printed that was similar um, was this one, and the only difference really is that um, the holes aren't as deep in it, um, and the edges are rounded though, so it uh, it means when I roll it, it rolls a little bit more than these dice. Um, but I still like the other one better. And this is another die I printed. This is the um, the one that has numbers as a typeface instead of the dots. And it's really cool. It's easy to read. Um, it's got the rounded um, the rounded edges here so it rolls well. Um, the only disadvantage of this is I haven't cleaned this up yet. There's a lot of gunk inside of it. And sometimes the numbers don't print out perfect. So you have to spend some time um, cleaning that up after you print it. But it does look um, pretty sweet. Um, this is the half size I did um, for the um, for the first die I showed you, and that turned out well. Okay, this is a big hollow dice, and um, you know what's cool about this is if you wanted, you could print another dice inside of it. So I don't have any clear PLA at the moment, um, or um, T glass or T glaze, however you say it. Um, but you could print it out in a, um, some kind of clear filament and then do a colored dye inside of it. Um, you could just wait till it's um, printing up about a little bit more than halfway and then just um, you know stick a dye in it while it's, while it's printing. Make sure you don't touch the hot end. Um, and then you have a dye inside of a dye. Um, so that would be a neat idea to try in the future. And this is my um, paper rock scissors um, dice. I did two of these. It's a little game. You could decide you know who goes first in something. Um, I play paper, rock, scissors. So you can see here, uh, there's scissors. And there's rock. And there's paper. Um, and you can try this with a dual extruder as well to get those um, in different colors. But it's still pretty easy to read um, um, in one color. So that's this video for today. Again, each of these die are going to be on my website at 3dphobbyist.com. And I'll include links to the um, Thingiverse page um, where you can go ahead and download these die and print them. I'm also going to include extra commentary on my settings and how to print these out and have good results. Um, so please visit the website. Um, also, I'll be giving each of these die away here. So uh, if you want to win some free dice um, and check them out, see if you like them, 
um, just subscribe to my YouTube channel and then leave a uh, comment or send me a message saying you'd, um, you'd like to win those. Um, again, thanks for watching. Happy printing.